Good afternoon. Uh, today I would like to present some uh, results of uh, the study on uh, some quarryscapes in uh, Lower Silesia, uh, which uh, on the southern part of uh, this region uh, we have uh, um, Sudeti mountains which, rain, uh, which uh, range from the uh, west to, uh, to the east. Uh, so that the mountains uh, they um, formed uh, during uh, Baristian orogeny, and after that, uh, in the Alpine orogeny, they break into two pieces. Uh, it's quite um, uh, important because uh, the main uh, quarrying activities uh, which were uh, taken uh, in the Middle Ages concentrate uh, in uh, the four Sudetic block in the lower part of uh, this mountain range. Uh, we have several places of uh, quarrying uh, activities. Uh, um, here uh, we have traces uh, of uh, sandstone quarrying as well as uh, here. Uh, in the Śnąża Masyw we have uh, traces of uh, granite and serpentine quarrying. And here we have uh, traces uh, of uh, quarrying um, local um, schists. Um, during the, uh, the, the early Middle Ages and the High Middle Ages, we can also observe some uh, grow and uh, um, um, up uh, quarrying um, up the mountain scoring uh, activities. Uh, in the tribal period, uh, the main quarrying activities concentrate here, but uh, in the early feudalism, uh, the uh, quarries are concentra uh, concentrated uh, into the mountain, uh, and uh, in the 15th century, in the high Middle Ages, we have also the ten uh, range uh, as a very big place of uh, stone acquisition. Uh, um, Sudeta has uh, also a very complicated uh, uh, geology. Uh, they uh, are um, um, they may they are, they are made uh, from Brunovisku uh, Brunovisku Tulikum Terran and Moldarnubicum uh, Terran. Uh, it um, provides a, a huge variety of rock uh, types in uh, in this range. Uh, more uh, relics of uh, early medieval and uh, medieval quarries show. Uh, uh, gathering of uh, small uh, pit quarries. Uh, they are uh, often no more than one uh, square kilometer. Um, the deeper ones uh, represent uh, the late medieval exploitation, but uh, the um, um, smaller ones represent early medieval exploitation. In some cases, we have also uh, gather, uh, gathering of um, pit quarries as well as open escarpment quarries, uh, which represents this kind of uh, sites. This site is dated back to the uh, 12th, 13th, and 14th uh, century. Also, we have uh, very um, early uh, medieval quarries from fifth, uh, sixth, and uh, eighth centuries, they group into very uh, small areas and uh, they represent this type of uh, pit quarries. Uh, due to um, field studies, we distinguished several um, types of um, medieval quarries in Sudet. Uh, the most popular are uh, pit quarries. Uh, uh, also, we have open escarpment quarries. And uh, the question is, what about surface quarries? Because uh, perhaps they are now uh, invisible in, uh, in um, the field, but uh, due to ethnographical um, observation, we think that also uh, this kind of quarrying activities were taken in Sudet uh, mountains, but now it may be uh, invisible. The first uh, research on um, 
medieval quarry were, ta were taken uh, uh, at um, um, 20s and 30s of uh, 20th century by uh, German uh, archaeologist uh, um, Alfred Jan, and um, they uh, excavated some quarries on the northern st slope of the Schnenja massif, as well as they uh, discovered uh, uh, an early uh, medieval uh, workshop where uh, quarry stones made of lines were uh, had they uh, finish cut. Um, this uh, research were uh, continued by uh, the Polish archaeologists in the 60s. Uh, some more quarries were there uh, then uh, excavated. And nowadays, still, we have some half products which are uh, visible on the northern slopes of the Ślanża Massive. Uh, another traces of quarrying activities uh, we have uh, in Kamienic Zontkowicki when uh, an escarpment quarry was observed. We have uh, traces of uh, rock cut, of uh, um, carving of um, uh, quarrying stone, also traces uh, <coughs> made um, uh, of wedges and, uh, and the drills. Uh, we have taken uh, an excavation uh, in Kamienie Zomkowicki to, um, to uh, study how this, this um, mica schist was exploited here. <coughs> and uh, it occurred that they uh, exploited uh, the mica schist uh, in the method of uh, so-called shelves. Uh, we have distinguished uh, here uh, four, uh, four levels of uh, shelves. Um, um, as well as in uh, the Sienja uh, Massive in Kamieniec Zomkowicki, we have um, a settlement workshop where uh, the cornerstones made uh, from Mikashis had their uh, final cut. Uh, the next case is case of the pit quarry uh, located in um, Strzelinski Hills. Uh, this quarry is uh, from the 15th century. And here we distinguished some uh, very interesting quarrying activities. Uh, first of all, uh, probably the establishment of uh, this quarry was uh, strongly con connected with um, uh, exploitation of uh, fine, uh, um, very fine quality uh, kaolinage, which was used to produce um, the pottery in the uh, neighboring castle. But uh, where, um, and when they uh, exploited some kaolinite, they started to uh, acquire granite located here. Here we have the layer, the bed of uh, kaolinite, and here is uh, the uh, rock. Mm. Uh, it confirmed is also by the uh, dual technology of um, exploitation. Uh, in one way, it was uh, exploited by a um, mechanic uh, way, uh, using wedges and drills, but also uh, it, um, the stone was exploited uh, using uh, fireplaces, and after that, they were uh, put some water on this fire, and the rock uh, has um, crashed. Uh, we also observed um, some very interesting um, features uh, which may represent uh, the remains of uh, scaffolding. We, we are not sure if uh, that's uh, quite, uh, it's, uh, there are uh, really uh, the traces of scaffolding, but uh, these uh, features uh, gathered only in the forefront uh, of the uh, quarry. Uh, in uh, the small trench we discovered more than 500 pieces of pottery, mainly very huge vessels, and we uh, suppose that uh, these vessels was used to uh, bring some uh, water to uh, this quarry. Uh, also, as uh, the pottery, we, we discovered some uh, tools uh, connected with uh, with these activities. Uh, 
uh, this system uh, observed uh, in Strzelinski Hills is uh, very interesting because here we have main quarry. Uh, we have also uh, in the neighborhood the secondary quarry or clay pit. We don't know because we didn't excavate it. But uh, in this um, in this complex, we also observed a cistern cistern which has a small uh, connection with this main quarry through the ditches for, from free waterfall. They are very... Um, um, uh, these ditches are... Uh, was, uh, was, um, um, was exploited by us uh, only by the, um, by the measuring of the of the field, they are not uh, visible in um, in a real uh, field. Um, some quarrying activities are really um, nice to um, set up the chronology of the sites because we have uh, um, some artifacts which uh, are dated, uh, such as this cross, to uh, 14th and 15th century, but some. Uh, quarry scapes, uh, quarrying activities are also represented by, uh, by um, the wedges uh, hall and uh, the um, the um, tools uh, which are which were abandoned uh, near the quarry. Uh, summarizing uh, this uh, this research, uh, we have three types of quarries uh, distinguished in um, Sudeti mountains pit quarries, uh, open escarpment quarries, and sub subsurface quarries. Also, that we uh, should uh, remember about the fort, uh, um, fort activities, uh, which is the acquisition of stone from gathering uh, from the surface. Uh, the technology was uh, rather simple. It was uh, mainly uh, exploitation directly from, from rock using tools uh, such as wedges, drills, hammers and uh, chisels, but few quarries represent uh, the type of fire and water uh, technology. So uh, almost all the, all the quarries uh, have um, settlement uh, workshops uh, in the nearest neighborhood of, uh, of, um, of uh, these uh, structures. Uh, raw material in the Middle Ages was used both uh, to the architecture and both to the small finds like uh, quernstones, whetstones, spindle horse, polishing tools, grindstones, casting mounts, pads and uh, gaming balls. Uh, of course, the form of these uh, this small finds uh, differ in the early Middle Ages and in the high Middle Ages. Thank you for attention. For more detailed information, there are two books about um, the quarrying activities in, uh, in Sudetan. They have English summaries and a lot of pictures, so it's available on Academia Edu. Thank you.